Did you know your father physically abused your stepmother? Objection, Your Honor. She's harassing the witness for irrelevant information. Your Honor, I am trying to establish the credibility of the most important witness in this trial. Objection overruled. Witness may answer the question. No, I didn't know. We have just heard that Richard Nolan is a man suffering from a disease. He passed that disease to his wife, we're told. She passed it to their son. And the boy died from it. Very simple. And the name that's been given this disease is abuse. I will agree that there is a disease here, and I'll agree that Richard Nolan suffers from it. But I won't agree that it's contagious, and I won't agree that it's fatal, and I won't even agree to its name. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to tell you about a place. It's a special place, I know, where this disease does not exist. It's a place that many people go to when they've been in pain, when they've been abused. So the disease does come there, but it never stays. <clears throat> it is in our hearts, in that room, where hatred and cruelty do not belong. I have told you that Richard Nolan's disease needed a different name. The name that I would give it is heartlessness. Only a man with an empty heart could brutalize and terrorize the ones that loved him. I believe that Richard Nolan has no heart. And I believe that the proof of that is on Molly Nolan's lonely face. And we also know why that woman could never have hurt her child. She sat on that stand when all of us knew what Richard Nolan had done to her and still she could not speak against him because she knew that to do so would bring pain to someone that she loved. Molly Nolan has a heart. I am asking you to go to that place in your hearts to find justice for a brutally murdered little boy. That place is where the truth lives. That place is where each of us carries the cure to this terrible disease. Have you reached a verdict? Yes, we have, Your Honor. We find the defendant guilty of murder in the second degree. Thank you. 